Rick Daly would like to welcome you to Monday Motivation. Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Monday Motivation. So we've got a topic for this week's theme that everyone can pretty much relate to, especially our startup founders out there in the audience who kind of deal with this on a regular basis. Founders complain that everything they have to do is a raging inferno. There's no such thing as something that is a lower priority than everything else. The entire forest is burning and they've got to sit down and try to figure out which fire do I try to put out first. It's not an easy task. It's a skill that's actually very challenging to manage. Other people look at the analogy of spinning plates. We've all seen those famous jugglers who expertly keep the plates not only moving in continuous motion, but the plates are precariously perched on top of these random high-level poles that are balanced on toes, on feet, on shoulders, on tops of heads, chins, all kinds of crazy stuff. And if you're, you know, kind of a goal setter type of person, you can aspire to be like David Spathicky. He's the guy who holds the Guinness World Record, which hasn't been broken since 1996 because, well, wait for it, he can spin 108 plates at the same time. Yeah, that's something you're going to want to aim for. So let's get right down to it and talk about some tips on how to help you prioritize. Tip number one, do the ugliest task first. And this relates to one of my favorite coaching tips of all time by coach Brian Tracy, who actually coaches people on procrastination, but it's sort of the same thing in that he has this whole concept called eat that frog. And yep, you put a visual to that and it's just about as disgusting as it sounds. Think of that slimy frog going down, kicking all the way. Well, that's kind of the essence of doing the ugliest task first by doing that you get a positive boost because it feels like, well, you kind of knocked out one of the top priorities of the day and it'll set you on a very good course for the rest of the day to keep attacking things and keep putting out other fires. Tip number two. The second tip is all about consolidation. So if you're like me, you are getting pinged six ways to sideways. WhatsApp, Slack, Skype, text, phone calls, emails, different email addresses, I mean, it's out of control, or you're getting pinged, Trello notifications, Jira notifications, whatever it is. It's a lot to manage. So you've got to take that time either the night before, some people do it on Sunday night or every night, or it's the first thing in the morning, and you look at, okay, here's the total list of the things that I have to do. And you consolidate all of those things from all those different e-coms into one place. Might be scrap papers, might be Trello boards, might be a Microsoft project tool. Whatever your favorite way is to do it, you've got to put everything into one place so you can look at it holistically and say, yep, this is everything I've got to do today. This is everything I've got to do this week. Tip number three, use a prioritization matrix. So Stephen Covey, one of the most famous coaches of all time, established this very helpful matrix when he created the seven habits of highly effective people. You can think about it in the ways of quadrants, or if you really want to just cut it down and make it really simple, take every task that you have, line it up as a list, and either assign it a value of you for urgent or a value of I for important. It becomes crystal clear pretty quickly which things you've absolutely got to do. So with that, I'm going to leave you to it. This is Monday Motivation, and I want you to get busy spinning your plates because I know you've got a lot to do. Have a fabulous week. Follow us at Grit Daily on social media and listen to all of our podcasts, including Like a Boss on Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, or your favorite platform. For special guest submissions, email Laura Lynn at gritdaily.com. 